The United States promised Bala Ahmed Tinubu that they will not release his criminal records until 2026. But for what is going on right now in Niger, it seems those criminal records will be released if Bala Ahmed Tinubu does not heed the warning to attack Niger and restore democracy. So I, someone should help me please tell Bola, uh, tell Fafani Kayode that anything that sounds like do not go to war, Bola Tinubu will block his ears to any statement like that because he wants to preserve the information that the U.S. and the FBI have about him. Well, away from that, we also have issues bordering on the judiciary. Nigerians are fixing their eyes on judiciary, all eyes on the judiciary. That has been the hashtag training on Twitter. And um, we see the judiciary is taking too long to deliver the judgment. And that could be because they have they have seen that um, the judgments may not go in favor of Bala Metinubu, and they're delaying it because they want to see how they can twist the judgment. However, no matter how they twist the, the judgment, we have videos of um, foreign people who are telling us the truth about Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I'm going to share a video with you right now, and after watching the video, I'll be back to analyze some more. The, uh, I've been looking uh, quite uh, a bit more deeply than I had before into this new president of Nigeria who uh, can't accept uh, the affront to democracy that the coup in Niger, according to him, represents. But he doesn't have the greatest democratic credentials himself. First of all, there's very serious and credible uh, allegations of electoral corruption in his own election. And it's still actually before the courts. The opposition have never accepted uh, his election. Uh, secondly... Uh, the Senate of Nigeria has refused his demand that Nigerian troops be sent as part of an ECOWAS uh, invasion of their neighbor, uh, Niger. And then there's his own checkered history. To my absolute astonishment, forgive my ignorance, I had no idea that this man was a bagman for the mafia and the drug dealers uh, in Chicago, Illinois, which doesn't seem like a great qualification to be uh, the leader of Nigeria. Uh, these people who are now talking about uh, democracy in Niger, many of them don't have a leg to stand on, do they? So guys, that is the video that you have just finished watching. I don't know what you guys think about this video. That is exactly the reason why Bola Ahmed Tinubu does not want to listen to any uh, advice not for him not to go to war with Niger. Now, it is becoming very clearing why he is not paying attention to the um, the advice that has been coming out. In fact, Femi, Femi Fani Kayode, popularly known as FFK, has said that it is unnecessary at this moment for Nigeria to go to war with Niger. Anyway, that's just an update. I'm going to leave the comment section for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I'll keep updating you on what is going on. Make sure to subscribe before you leave.